Oh, let me make sure. It, and for those of you, if you're seeing us already, we don't we don't quite have a picture yet, so we're not sure if we're 100 percent live yet. So just bear with us if you're seeing us already. And we so are we are live. live. So, yep. ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Happy Hour <laughs> Podcast. Of course, my name's Ray. I'm sitting here with Matt, and we're here also with Socrates. Tonight is the night that everybody was waiting for when the happy hour podcast you know the cast friends of the happy hour podcast we know that there is heat between socrates well probably not exactly al snow al snow probably doesn't even know Psych socrates is a little dot of existence to al snow but socrates has something to say now the thing is is on our exclusive patreon which is you know our pregame show which is exclusive on patreon only three dollars a month we were getting ready to connect with al normally we connect 15 minutes before and al shot me an email saying hey guys i apologize i just got out of the hospital i had pneumonia i got out two days ago and you know i have really bad hiccups i'm not sure if i can hold a conversation can i reschedule so we're we'll going to try to get him rescheduled for July 24th weekend. However, Socrates has now dawned to us and told us that Al fears Socrates because Al, like what we saw it live and it, it, it for a second said Al Snow. And then it went right off and we're like, oh, okay, cool. So I tried to send him the link again and Al Snow was, and uh, Socrates was like, he's afraid of Psycho. So I, I believe, I believe Psycho has something to say. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. We're going to get up from our neutral position. Socrates is going to sit down and address not only Al Snow, but also the world and the rest of the fans of the Happy Hour oh, podcast. I'm standing so, right here. We're going to no, turn, this, God, right we're here. turn <laughs> this goddamn laptop around. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to turn this this way. There's our mic. So there's the Psycho. Come in just a little bit more. It's a little bit more. All right. There you go. There's Socrates right there. I'm going to go ahead and face that up like that. So Psycho. Let Al know how you true. Let Al Snow know how you truly yeah, feel. My <laughs> right. Now, this is the Happy Hour podcast. You know, we like to joke around, have have fun, shoot the shit. And get but I want all you people out there in podcast land listening right now to listen up because this ain't a fucking joke. You understand me? I'm not here to play around. I'm here to give you people a quick little history lesson. July twenty fourth, nineteen ninety nine. Essex, Maryland, a young, just shy of 18 years old high priest is having his first match in the professional wrestling business <laughs> against future indie star Ruckus. You know who's there doing an autograph signing at the show? Al fucking Snow. <laughs> you know who was on Raw the next week doing my finish? Al fucking Snow. <laughs> let's, let's fast forward a little bit. October 24th, 2008, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, a nightclub. Al Snow sitting there by himself, looking lonely, drinking a beer. The same nightclub where Kevin Nash stole Socrates' girl. <laughs> no, that was West Virginia. <laughs> by the way, Kevin Nash, fuck you too. <laughs> anyway, back to the timeline. October 24, 2008. I'm there having a few beverages, maybe. Maybe a few <laughs> other things. But I'm a polite young man. I wanted to go introduce myself to Al. I wanted to say what's up. Maybe strike up a conversation. Al, hey. Last time I saw you, about nine years ago, my first show, you were there. He looks at me. He says these words. That was a long time ago. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. I'm still, I'm still being cool. So, Al, you still doing tough enough? What you been up to? You still training guys for WWE? He looks at me again. No. <laughs> I walked back to my buddy, Blood, our friend who's been on the show, Blood. I said, Blood? That motherfucker just kayfabe. And right now, trending on the the stream is Al Fear hashtag Al Fears Socrates with <laughs> the live feed. You know, you're trying to figure out. I'm going to go right here because I'm more comfortable here. I'm going to say what I got to say from where I want to say because right now, you, you people are going to listen to me. Al Snow, I know you're listening. <laughs> Let's go to that third day. I, I'm not sure about. if he just got over pneumonia. I'm not sure if he's listening. Oh, he thought pneumonia was bad. Wait for his promo. <laughs> We're going to go to our third date in the timeline. Third date, like like a date, like you guys went out on a date, or like. <laughs> well, I'm usually on dates with thoughts. That's another story. Speaking of people I have heat with, I could mention a few of those here, but I'm right now I'm talking about Al Snow. May 16th, 2021. <laughs> Back in Essex, Maryland, where it all started. <laughs> Al Snow was supposed to be on the Happy Hour podcast to finally face his accuser, to finally face 
the man he stole a finish from, the man he fucking kayfabed in a nightclub, the man he disrespected, the king of the fucking death match, the high priest of fucking hardcore, Socrates. I've been waiting for this, brother. I've been waiting for this moment. I've been waiting to finally have my say. And what did you do, Al? What did you do? You punked out like the bitch you are. Oh, so I want everybody in podcast land. Oh, I want everybody oh, around the world. Because I know this shit's going to go viral. I know this shit's going to be 2 million downloads on YouTube next week. I want everybody to hear me say these words out of my mouth. Socrates one. <laughs> Al Snow zero. zero. Oh. That's right, folks. He forfeited because he fears the high priest you want to take you want to take your little mannequin head you want to take your little deer head all your little gay ass shit you do in the rings and you can stick it straight up your candy ass because you didn't have the balls you know what shout out to new jack new jack just passed away you know what I'm about new jack he would have at least had the fucking balls to come on this podcast and talk to me <laughs> He would he would have got he would have got verbally eviscerated too because I'm the best promo in the business. But at least he would have had the fucking balls to come on. Shit, you know what? Cody McGraw would have had the balls to come on this podcast and talk to me. Cody fucking McGraw would have had the balls to come on this podcast and talk to me. I'm gonna go one further. I'm gonna go one further. And I want everybody to hear me say. So, this. are you saying Al Snow was neutered like the way Pepper probably was? <laughs> I, want, I want everybody to go on record and hear me say this because Ray, you remember the first episode where this all started? Yes. I was yes. told people it's been out left and right. We've waited was, forty-seven episodes for this I was to calling, come together. I was told people out left and right. <laughs> Al Snow, listen to me when I say this. Jamie Lucas would have had the balls to come oh. on his podcast <laughs> and face the high priest. <laughs> But you didn't, did you? Did you, uh, Al? No, you didn't. Uh, you didn't. So here's here's how I'm going to wrap this up in a nice, tidy <laughs> little bow. There's two kinds of men in this world. There's men like the high priest. And then there's men like you. Actually, you know what? I'm wrong. Because you ain't a man. Bro. Uh, you are a coward. You are a coward. You are a yellow egg sucking dog, Al Snow. And I am claiming victory right now. See, here, here's what this is. When there's a debate yeah. and somebody just doesn't show up, if there's a presidential debate, somebody just doesn't show up, they're basically admitting that yeah. the other person is right about everything they said. So Al Snow, is, Al, Snow is con- Al Snow is conceding the fact that he stole my finish, that he kayfabe me, and that I'm twice the man he is. I'm twice the wrestler he is. I'm twice the fucking hardcore legend he is. So Al Snow, here's the thing. You are going to live the rest of your days. You are going to live the rest of your days on this earth having to deal with the fact that you were Socrates' bitch. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> man. So I, I think I think the name of this episode is now going to officially be hashtag Al Socrates. <laughs> and I think the hashtag Al Socrates t-shirts might be released tonight because we need to have them. like we need to have them and then when we go live and that's even if al snow ever comes back because if al snow ever sees us and hears just Socrates just verbally eviscerating him you know here's, well, here's, here's the thing <laughs> i've had a lot of injuries i'm retired he still couldn't face me remember the buddha story right yeah yeah oh there's another one we'll talk about this on the podcast i had another buddha episode oh lord oh oh but, oh, but, it, was, but, but it wasn't with buddha it was another person really uh, yeah. okay should okay. i get into that right now oh go ahead that's a minus so, one hey well, since, I, since I, our yeah. friend al snow's not here let me call somebody else out so okay ray knows the place he's you got there. heat with everybody <laughs> people got heat with me more like that, I, I, I don't know what it is i just attract psychopaths somehow <laughs> the country club bowling lanes right okay you know the place okay. right? I, I i helped out there we did that's where that's I, where you carried one pipe yes. for espn yes. and then you were like i can't do it anymore yes. and then you drank and they wrote you like a three cent check it was it yeah. was like 250 yeah it was yeah. 250 yeah. and then you 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 went on a, a long promo about that like who the fuck does this guy think he is i would have rather him not paid me pay you know, socrates fucking 250 you know why that happened too right <laughs> but you I took was, that 250 didn't you? i took the 250 and i spent it at the strip club we had blood went to christine's afterwards but no um the reason i helped out i don't clear the air this is also something that's we've talked about for a while the reason i did not help out is because i was having an alcohol withdrawal so i went into the bathroom and i drank a bottle of jack but anyway the country club bowling lanes i usually bowl either there or dundalk yeah, yeah. But now I'm only going to Dundalk because if okay. I go back to the country club, I'm probably going to get arrested. 
<laughs> I was there. I was there. Let's see. This was uh, about three weeks ago. Is now. it because Al Snow's at the at the bowling alley? Is that is that what it is? Are you saying Al Snow would have the balls to show up at a bowling alley if I was here? <laughs> Al Snow wouldn't show up in a fucking Al Snow wouldn't show up anywhere on this earth if I was there. And the bowling can, alley gives you balls. You know what? We're gonna do the second ever kennel from hell match. <laughs> it's gonna be Secrates and Al Snow. And they just, it, it'll work out just like the last Kennel from Hell match did. And they just do the best that they can. <laughs> well, that would require him being in the same room with me. Oh. No, I'm at the country club. Oh. I go in the bathroom to take a piss. Fucking janitor comes in. He's like, hey, man, why don't you flush the fucking toilet? I'm like, excuse me? He's like, last time you were there, you didn't flush the toilet. What the fuck's your problem? I'm like, wait a minute. I, I, I had to gather myself around. Like, is this guy, like, what is he doing? He like goes off of me. I, I'm not. I'm shitting you guys. Not like I'm not ribbing. I'm not or working. You did here. shit. The yeah, guy, yeah. You did shit. The guy, admit it, the guy, admit it. You blew the guy, that guy's toilet the guy, up. The, no, I didn't even shit. I just pissed, but I didn't flush it because the handle was like jammed or whatever. He, so you clogged the toilet from pissing. No, it wasn't even That's clogged. a powerful piss. It wasn't even clogged. I, was <laughs> just, I threw some. I threw some paper in there because I wiped my deck off. That it's, was it. Instead of instead of William Regal and the power of the punch, you had the power <laughs> of the piss in Al Snow's mouth. Oh! Oh. Anyway, back to the story. Because oh. I'm on a roll now. Oh. I got something to say. To all I think Al Snow me. might drive here from where he lives <laughs> before this is over with and give Psycho his own finish in the middle of my house. Anyway, this fuck, this fucking janitor starts literally like screaming at me, yeah, and like yelling, like like what the fuck's your problem, man? You can't flush the toilet. So I I waited patiently. I let him say his piece, and then what do you think I did? I said my piece. Can I can I give you guys the transcript? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember exactly. Yeah. I remember exactly what I said. Yeah. <laughs> Pretend you're the janitor. I looked at him. I said, "All right, first of all, you motherfucker, let me tell you something." It's your job to flush that toilet because you're a fucking 40 year old man that cleans bathrooms for a living, you fucking loser. Now, you could have asked me politely, and I probably would have went in there and flushed the toilet. But since you were a disrespectful asshole about it, we can do one of two things. You can shut the fuck up and clean that toilet like the bitch hit fucking janitor little faggot you are, or oh, we can go whoa. out, or we can, we can go outside. Whoa. We can go outside whoa. and we can settle this. Wow. What do you think he did? You think, you think he went outside with me? No. 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 He has tools to clean. <laughs> but here's, there's an addendum to the story. I, I love I love that now Facebook Live has, has closed captions. captioning and you look at it and it's all over the place. Like whatever Socrates is saying, it's not that. Like when he said janitor, it said like genteel or something like that. And I'm like, what the fuck? What is this thing saying? And I love that when we cuss, it's just stars. That's it. It doesn't say what the cuss word is or anything like that. I'm like, it's fucking great. So I, I go out, I go out of the bowling alley and I'm waiting for my ride. He's around the back because you know you've been to the country club. Yeah. You know how like there's the back way where you can go in where the, the people that work there go in. Yeah. He comes back out. He's talking to some other guy that works there. He's still bitching about it. <laughs> so I'm already outside at this point. I'm like, hey motherfucker, we're outside okay. now. You got okay. something else to say? Okay. What do you think he did? He walked back inside. <laughs> so here's the thing. I don't know your name, Mr. Janitor. If you're somehow you're out there listening. Did he have Moppy? He did Please have a mop. Yeah, he had a mop. <laughs> oh, here's the here's the here's the good part. When he's talking shit to me, he's holding the mop. Yeah. He doesn't know it because I got my hand in my pocket, but I'm holding a three inch blade because I carry it everywhere. So if he <laughs> when Socrates it, says three inch blade, he means well, his, no. he means his <laughs> dick. <laughs> That's the nine inch blade. Ask fucking Tori and all these other fucking thoughts out there. Anyway. <laughs> Mr. Janitor out there in hot podcast land, if you somehow happen to be listening, let me tell you one thing, Mr. Janitor. I don't like you and I don't respect you. I respect you. You know, there's only one person I respect less than you, and that's Al Snow. <laughs> and actually, speaking of which, speaking of for wrestling, there were actually, I forgot to tell you this earlier, there were two deaths in the wrestling world, actually. One wait, 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 not to cut you off before you do that. There were three. three. I, don't, I don't even know what we know. New Jack is one. Yes. Two was Al Snow's dignity. <laughs> oh, the third. And the third was Dick Karakoff. Who oh, was, shit. Yes, Dick yes. Who was, oh, who, fuck, Dick man. Karakoff, for those of you listening at Damn. home, if you don't know who Dick Karakoff is, up, he's Dick, one man. of the most, he's probably one of the most famous wrestling promoters in the, the state of Maryland. Of NWL. You know, a, owner of the old NWL. I know Dan McDivitt, you know, all kinds of guys. Anybody coming up man. in the business wow. worked for Dick Karakoff. I have, you have. A lot oh, of guys, you know, have I've worked so, more shows for Dick than any other promoter. Yeah, yeah. So his, he's son, a, his son was Neil the Power Superior. Yeah, yes. That's, they do, do yeah, the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Of course, he worked with John Rambo. 
No. But no, seriously, Al up. Snow worked for Dick Karakoff, so Al Snow <laughs> probably would have had some words for you know not only Socrates but you know Dick Karakoff. And yeah, you know, here's the thing: like with, with the whole show, oh, show, we were man. we were gonna wait until like the last quarter of the show where you guys address our stuff because we we're gonna talk about all kinds of stuff: the kennel from hell, Leaf Cassidy, you know, all kinds of different stuff. And you know, after the games, we were gonna get into that. But you know, the whole thing is is now it's just turned into a. You know, a whole episode whole of promo Socrates of promo, but fucking, uh, <laughs> snow. But, Let me um, say, let's talk about those deaths again, yeah, real quick. Yeah. I respect, I respect the hell out of the Karakoff. He was a great guy. I worked for him many times. I respect the hell out of New Jack, one of the guys I pattern myself after. Al Snow, <laughs> I can't say the same. <laughs> and uh, and you know what? Here's the thing. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. <laughs> Sandman, I know you're probably out there listening. Oh. You were you've been ducking the high priest oh. for 12 years now. But at least Sandman had an excuse. Oh. The booker, the booker made a mistake, things happen. Al Snow has no excuse. <laughs> so I got two former ECW stars now who are ducking me. Two. And people say I'm not the king of the death and, match. And he... Let me tell you something. Nick Gage. You uh, want to get your own Dark Side of the Ring episode? Dark Side of the Ring, Al Snow. <laughs> Al Snow it's called Al Snow Fierce Socrates. <laughs> I've said this before. My whole life has kind of been a Dark Side of the Ring yeah. episode. But no, this is the light side of the ring. I'm happy now because I got a victory over Al Snow. Yeah. But yeah. Nick Gage, if you're out there listening, you got your own episode. He's a good guy. He's a hardcore legend. He ain't die pretty. But of course, shout out to Al Snow. Get well soon, buddy. Um, I'm the pneumonia, especially coming out of all this shit with COVID. Mm-hmm. It, you know, must be. You know, it, it's got to be awful to have. So we will get Al Snow rescheduled the second we know when Al will be able to reschedule, and we can get him and Socrates together. Who knows? Maybe we'll be able to get Al Snow live, and we can do it in the middle of a ring. <laughs> and you know, Al Snow can just murder Socrates the way Socrates murdered that hooker that's buried in his in his yard. <laughs> That he hey, used to know. Hey, yeah. hey, <laughs> but it's, see here here's the thing and that's the thing i was going to tell al snow be like how do you realize that socrates now see it's only has murdered somebody like that's you know it's only whole... murder if you kill another person <laughs> i don't really con- consider thoughts people so you know <laughs> i'm just something putting that out there and also now that we're on wrestling uh, right before we went live on our patreon i posted on our exclusive facebook twitter <clears throat> and instagram that we gained exclusive rights from former WCW enhancement talent, Bob Starr, to be able to sell exclusive Happy Hour Podcast Bob Starr t-shirts. They are now available. Go to www.thehhpod.com. Pick one up. As far as I know, I don't know if Bob ever had t-shirts. I think he did, but he doesn't like, have any currently. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have any currently. So, I've been rocking one. I will wear a Bob oh, Starr t-shirt all oh, day. Yeah. I, I have one already myself. And I, you know, when I got it, I got it made up just to have it, you know, to wear on the show. And I was like, hey, Bob, do you mind if, you know, we do this? He's like, I don't give a shit, man. So, you know, I shout out Bob. Bob. shout out to Bob Starr. You know, <clears throat> Bob, if just, if you know Al, just <laughs> Which he tell, does, I believe. Tell, tell Al that Socrates is now 1-0 <laughs> against Al Snow. Socrates won Al Snow. And just imagine, just and imagine. You know I, I, you know no, what, wait, so, so should we do this? Be like, put it this way. Since Al Snow's not here. Should it be that Al Snow has until the count of 10 to make ah, his presence right. felt that's before right. we declare yourself? It's before we declare your, your, yeah, right? All right, so right. here's how we're going to do this. Man. Ladies and gentlemen, listening or watching the Happy Hour podcast, we regretfully inform that Al Snow has not shown up. And if he cannot make it to the podcast by the count of 10, we will declare Socrates the official winner of the first showdown between Socrates and Al Snow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match as a result of a forfeit, the High Priest. Protein. You know what would have been great if right as we were doing that, Al would have popped into the room <laughs> and he would have came up and just been fire. <laughs> like that's why I looked. I was like, I was like, I wonder if Al's at home watching. And you know, because I told him, I was like, you I know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really hope he is. <laughs> now here's the thing. I've got I've got a few pretty nice accomplishments in my career. Okay. 
Former NWL Hardcore Champion, former House of Pain Cruiserweight Champion. I've been in the ring with Axel Rotten, Samu, Nikolai Volkov, all those things. All, 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 all people that Al Snow probably never, ever, I would imagine fathom working in you know, his career. <laughs> I want to imagine that those accomplishments, when Al Snow hears those accomplishments, he's going to shit his pants. If you think well, that Al Snow fears Socrates now... <laughs> Once he hears that laundry list of accomplishments that the high priest has, he's not going to show up. Here's what I'm getting I, at, and This uh, is coming from a man who got smacked across his bare feet with a tack bat. Yeah. <laughs> thanks to some asshole booker suggesting it. <laughs> I don't know who that could have possibly have been. <laughs> but no, what I was getting at with the whole thing in my career, I wasn't putting myself over because God forbid I'd never do that. I was just saying, <laughs> all those things are great, but honestly, I think my... This might be my greatest accomplishment in the wrestling business. <laughs> and you, Al Snow. you, you beat Al Snow. Not just beat him. He forfeited. He didn't even show up. He didn't even show up. And here's the thing. Imagine if I would have worked Al. Like he worked Corey Bush. You know? He, Corey, he, he, worked, like Corey. He, worked, he worked a 400-pound fat guy with no, al- no <laughs> eyebrows. But he couldn't show up to work Socrates. Here's the thing. I love you, Corey Bush. Corey's a friend of mine. But you lost to a bitch. You lost to Al Snow. <laughs> Shout out to Corey Bush. Corey Bush is a great guy. I love Corey Bush. We love Corey. Um, but no, like I, I'll never well, forget the story of you saying that Samu shaved his yep, eyebrows yep. and he worked Al Snow with no Al. And yes. with, that's how we were gonna, you know, bring yep. up the Al Snow the story. Be like, do you ever remember working a, you know, a guy that was like 350, 400 with no eyebrows? Yep. And if he goes yes, yep. you could be like, oh, you son of a bitch. That was the show where yep. you know, because <laughs> that's not something you can forget. Yeah. Let, yeah. Me, throw, let me throw another little bond on the fire. Uh, here. Uh, Look, here, another accomplishment. I was probably shaking in his boots at home. <laughs> <laughs> I've been slapped in the face by a lot of thoughts in my life. Okay, because here's the thing: I like to beat, I like to beat, I like to beat these little bitches' ass. So I got to give them a reason. So are you calling Al Snow one of your thoughts? Is that what? Here's, you're, here's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, Every no. thought that has ever slapped me hit me harder than Al Snow possibly could have. <laughs> Al Snow, he's just like all my thoughts. He's one of my bitches now. I might as well be pimping him. <laughs> he's one of my bitches he's right there with tori love he's right there with britney he's right there with cassandra he's right there with carly you're right in the group you're right in the group Al. <laughs> and here's the thing facebook live does not know the word thought so for thought <laughs> so when you read it back it says thought, thought. Well, i'm giving my <laughs> thoughts on Al Snow. Snow. Thought. <laughs> i'm giving my thoughts on Al Snow, as well as my thoughts on thoughts <laughs> and of course everybody Industry this is episode 48 the one year anniversary for the Happy Hour podcast is coming up in about what three three weeks three well, weeks yeah and we have a bunch of surprises so what I'm going to do what I'm going to be else no is actually tonight <laughs> and now of course we know myself Matt Socrates we're all going to be live 100 percent live from Beefalo Bob's in Pasadena Maryland maybe so, even Mike Blair yeah. And well, Maybe. I mean, yeah. Mike, come. Mike may very it's, well be there. There's food, so I would. Think. However, we do have five guests oh, cool. that will be joining us. Five special guests. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to announce one of those guests oh. that will be joining us at that. Can I take a guess? Sure. I'm going to say not Al Snow. Obviously not Al Snow. Oh, I'm hoping Al Snow shows up. <laughs> That'd be great. He just shows. He just, I'm hoping Please, that I'm hoping that we're in Beefalo Bob's and we're doing a show. And in Beefalo Bob's, you're what does everybody want? And Al comes out and he's just shaking head or Pepe, like as we're doing the podcast. And and Socrates just gets up, runs towards Al Snow. Al clotheslines him, and then they just start going at he it in Beefalo a Bob's roast beef sandwich down his fucking throat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Makes him choke yeah. you fucking eat the sandwich, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's holding the sandwich at Socrates' face, and Socrates was like, "You fear me, you fear me, you no good son of a bitch." You know, the last thing I ever did in the rest of, as an actor was eat, was eat a sandwich. Yeah. Really? Uh, oh. was Wait, the... was that the sandwich that I? Uh, no, that, it was... because I remember. Didn't I? What? Wasn't there a show where I had a uh, someone had a sandwich <clears> and they dropped it? And then you picked it up and ate it when you came down to the ring. I feel like it was something I did when I did the Mr. Happy Hour gimmick. That was a different show. Obviously. Okay. okay well, no, okay. it was uh, ATCW. <laughs> we had a Royal Rumble. And uh, I thought, because they had catering in the back, I thought it'd be funny if, like, when they called my number for the Rumble, yeah. I was still trying to eat my sandwich. <laughs> and all so I walked out to the ring eating a, yeah, eating a barbecue. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and I handed it off to some old guy in the front row. I'm like, hey, bro. Please hold-. tell me he ate it. Well, I'm like, hey, bro, hold my sandwich. <laughs> so I get in the Rumble. I was in the match for probably, like, you know, 10 minutes, whatever. 
I get eliminated by Chucky. I'm laying there on the outside selling. The ref's like, hey, you're out. The guy walks over and hands me back the sandwich. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I forgot. I forgot all about it. I said, oh, thank you, sir. So I got up. I ate the rest of the sandwich and I walked into the, the sunset. And that was my last match because I got injured after that. <laughs> now, anyways, Socrates, who do you, who are you guessing as oh. one of our special guests? Well, this is that will be joining us for our one year anniversary episode live from Beefalo Bob's, which will be a special two hour episode live from beefalo bobs this is part guess and part wishful hopeful thinking okay i'm hoping i'm really hoping it's jay baller jay baller it please tell me it's jay baller, right? unfortunately it's going to be a lot like the al snow situation it's not jay and baller. jay baller will not be oh, God. however since we are on the wrestling aspect of things our good friend bob star We'll be joining us you know what? That's for not the bad. one year anniversary episode. And you can tell Bob all about Al and how <laughs> Al was scared. So Bob, Bob Starr will be one, you know? one fifth of who will be joining us for our live episode. We will be announcing more guests as it comes up. So we so will be could, joined by one, five one, special one, guests. one of them could still be Jay Ball. No, because they're all former guests. Well, so, he could be a future guest. Like, you know, I, it, could, I, it could have been Al Snow, but Al Snow is no longer a former guest because he didn't <laughs> show up tonight. So, I'll say and, this about and all these guests are going to be joining us live in person in inside person. of Ooh. Beefalo Bob. So, if you, you guys are, are watching at sandwich. home or listening at home and you're local, come join us at Beefalo Bob's. Do they have soup? hang out? Do meet Bob soup? Star. Buy a Bob Star T-shirt. Wear it to Buff to Beefalo Bob's. My question is, and, do they have soups? Do they have soups? Yes. It's a fucking buffalo. It's a fucking pit beef place. Why would they have soups? It's a restaurant. <laughs> I taste like soup. Come on. <laughs> yeah, we go there. They're like, what do you guys want? You guys want some roast beef? Secretary's like, I want soup. They're well, like, some leave. Tur- turkey Get noodle. Get out of here. <laughs> turkey noodle. Yeah, that's what, what I want. Haven't you ever had it at the state fair? It's amazing. <laughs> oh, it's better than fucking Al Snow. Anything else Snow ever did. <laughs> You know what Sagrates wants? He wants to eat Al Snow's little dog. That's what he wants to do. Just like the big boss man. He just wants to eat the little I, dog. Yeah. I, already, I already ate his career, his oh. dignity. His, you know, uh, you know. And here's, so, the, here's the thing. I've had some diseases in my life. No, no, no such Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> what? Wait, uh, you know what? This I'm is not a... surprised. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait, something, <laughs> something. All the thoughts that he talks about. I'm not surprised. No, no, let, me, let me finish. I've let me had finish. diseases. Let me finish. I have actually never had an STD, though. Never had an STD, which I know is amazing because I've fucked a lot of thoughts. Never had an STD, but I've had a lot of diseases. If I would have had COVID or pneumonia. STD, like the move? You've never had an STD, like the move? The move? Yeah, yeah the you move. know the S. Oh, no, I'm thinking That's the STO, STO, right? No, <laughs> no, you said it wrong. It's S-T-F. Yeah, the, S- the STO is the face punch. STF is the. Yeah, yes, the yes, yes. So we both got it wrong. We both, both got it wrong. Yeah. But no, I've, I've had some diseases in my life. Oh my God. If I would have had, right now, as we speak, on May 16th, 2021, if I would have woke up today with COVID, pneumonia, AIDS, uh, Well, SARS, you have to say pneumonia because Al Snow had pneumonia. Well, it's you know, if I'd have had all these things at the same time, I would have still showed up today because I wanted to face my, I wanted to face this man. I would have dragged myself. You know what the old thing they say in the business is? If you can walk, you can work. I walked into this podcast studio. Al Snow, you didn't have to walk. You could have sat in your chair in your house in your fancy little mansion where you live in fucking Lima, Ohio. You didn't even have to walk in here. You could just sat on your fucking computer and you couldn't even do that. What kind of man are you? What kind of man are you, son? Mm. You know what? Right, right, right. I'm not done yet. You know how I was talking about people I respect more than them? Let me, oh, give you, no. let me, let me throw one more oh, name no. out there. You know who oh, I respect no. more than Al Snow? <laughs> oh, I, I can't believe I'm going to say this. Butch Hess. Oh, <laughs> for those of you who know who Butch Hess is, yeah, let's just say, <laughs> you know, but as I mean, a, as, wait a minute, wait a minute, as a worker and a human being. Oh my God. Oh, oh God. That's, that's deep. So, right. You thought, I was, that, you thought I was that, cutting deep with Jamie since, Lucas. Since I went that, to a whole other level. Since that's deep, what we're going to do is for those of you listening at home, we're going to go ahead, we're going to take a break. Al Snow won't be here in the second half because Al Snow fears Socrates. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to take a break. We will be right back and we will do our O to Humanity segment. So for those of you listening at home, we will be right back. For those of you watching us live, you know how this works. We get right back into this shit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Happy Hour Podcast. Of course, my name's Ray. This is Matt. We're here with the High Priest 
of hardcore wrestling, the undisputed victor in the the, the showdown with Al Snow. Hashtag Al Fierce Socrates. And, you know, that, that should be trending worldwide on Twitter. Hashtag, I wish Socrates had a Twitter so he could tweet hashtag Al Fierce Socrates. Everybody listening right now, remember what he just said. Everybody who's got a Twitter, hashtag Al Fierce Socrates. <laughs> so we're going to try to get Al Snow rescheduled. Now, what we're going to do is... Yeah, uh, this is the, the last one. Actually. You tried the last <laughs> beer, son of a bitch. So what we're going to do real quick, so we're going to get into our beer of the week, which our beer of the week is sticky. Wait, 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 wait. That's our beer of the week. Uh, we actually have a second beer of the week this What's week. What's that? The second beer of the week this week is Al Snow's Tears. <laughs> oh, man. So our beer of the week is by Wells Brewing Company. Well, Al Snow not, is not here. <laughs> but no, so it's by Wells. Is that owned by David Wells? In the New York <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Wells Brewing Company. Good and it's called Sticky Toffee Pudding Ale. And this is, <laughs> for those not, of you watching at home, this is, yeah, yeah, this is what the bottle looks like. Sticky and it says, toffee. based on great British pudding, full of rich, sticky toffiness. Wait a minute, wait a so, minute. Toffee. You know what my, my yeah. shoot last name is, right? What's that? Oh, coffee. Al, yeah. Al Snow's oh. mouth is full of sticky coffee right now. <laughs> Mike Waters just commented, tweeted, hashtag <laughs> Al Fierce Socrates. And what, knows, I'm, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to retweet that. Of course, it'll probably be the only two tweets on the Twitterverse <laughs> that has Al Fierce Socrates, which will be from me and from, and from uh, Mike Waters. So anyways, make sure you get out, get some sticky toffee pudding ale. Um, not too bad. I mean, I thought it'd be I a like lot it. sweeter than what it is. I, I like, like it. it. So make sure you get out and get yourself some toffiness because Socrates has himself some coffiness due to the fact that Al Snow no show tonight. And Matt, you know which part of the show this uh, is. And Leslie Margarita is still mortified by, you know, having to bear witness to this last week. But what we're going <clears> to <throat> do, and I'm not sure if Socrates has been here for this yet, but so. we're going to go ahead and do our shot of the month, which... We put a little bit of Dickel in our mouth when we do this because it's called George Dickel Tabasco Barrel Finish Whiskey, oh, wow. which is infused with Tabasco. So, uh, Psycho, you don't drink anymore, but do me a favor. Take this and give it a nice little smell. Smell that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, can, yeah, I, can, you, I can smell the you Tabasco. You can smell yeah. the yeah, Tabasco. Yeah, so, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a little bit of Whoa, fuck, fire in Ooh. our belly as I almost poured the whole bottle on the laptop, but that's uh that's I, normally how we do things. Because here. that has alcohol yeah. and hot sauce. Oh. If I drank that right now, I would literally die. Like <laughs> yeah. right on the, on the set. On yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Psych 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 would not get to, to Al Snow Socrates 2 because Socrates <laughs> would be dead. Actually, you know what? Psycho drink that. Then that way when we have the rematch. Psycho will no show Al Snow <laughs> mainly because he's partying with Dick Karakoff <laughs> and New Jack in heaven and Katie or, Groves. or in hell. Or, I'll, be or fucking, I'll, yeah, be in, yeah. I'll be in hell. Fucking Katie <laughs> yeah. Groves, so here's what we're going to do. Shout out to George Dickel with Tabasco whiskey. We fucking hate you for this because uh, it puts a fire in your belly. But if you like that kind of stuff, go out, pick it up. <laughs> how, how, how is it? Uh, it's okay. like fire. It's like fire. <laughs> Yeah. Does it taste, oh, it, does it, does and, it taste he, anything and, like fireball? And here we go. Mike Walters also no, commented. Nothing like fireball. You know who else no showed? Like Al Snow? Mike Blair. <laughs> Hashtag bitch ass Blair. So <laughs> that's we got one out too. Yeah. Bitch so ass. you know what? Maybe Blair. Blair may have texted Al and went, dude, I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> like, why don't we just hang out? Like, you know, so so right now, Blair and Al Snow both are sitting there. How about this, though? <laughs> Mike Blair shows up on this you podcast. This to, to rinse that down? <laughs> Mike Blair shows up here more often than Al Snow. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's deep. I mean, Mike, I, that... Mike, Mike shows up maybe negative 20 times. So, you know. You know the last like... time me and Mike were on an episode together at the same time? October. October. <laughs> Do you know when the last time we were on the same episode face to face with Mike? October. I don't know. <laughs> <how it's laughs> so, anyways, what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna get into our games. Uh, so our games, what we're gonna do uh, is 
I guess since Socrates is blind, I can I will see. Have... I'm not blind. Well, you I... can't do the incoherent I... if you can't see. I can see. Okay, you can see. Okay, well, right. we'll have you do that. We will have Socrates take Al Snow's place for the games. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do five second rule. Oh, yeah. So Socrates, what we're going to do is five second rule. Oh, do I get the start? Because yeah. I always would have. Oh yeah, you get the start. You get the start. Okay, before we play, real quick, I'm okay. going to do a special edition of five second rule. Okay. Okay. Mm. Five people that Al Snow would never fuck with in his whole life. High priest, high priest, high priest, high priest, high priest. I so was hoping you would stop at three. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, Socrates, for five-second rule, we're going to have you name three traditional wedding gifts starting now. Um, gold, uh, a cake. Um... Time. So gold and cake are out. It goes to you, Matt. Okay. So what we're going to do is name three traditional, so traditional. wedding what do you mean, gifts. Hold on. What do you mean by traditional? I guess whatever like original, what, like, whatever yeah, you would define. see, whatever you would see at a wedding all the okay. time. Like, all right. like gotcha, you know, man. every wedding you've ever well, been a cake, to. A it, cake, I guess, wouldn't be a gift thing. The cake's yeah, the cake's already yeah. there. But, you know, it is what it is. So, I, uh, you know, Socrates pretty much, he no-showed this, kind of like how Al Snow <laughs> no-showed his show off with Socrates. So what we're going to do is to we're going to go ahead marriage, and Matt. Yeah. So Matt, name three traditional wedding gifts starting now. Say a clock, money, and a toaster. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah. I was going to say Oster because Oster is normally the, the brand Oster? of toaster. Oh. So, But a toaster, but, that's yeah, a good yeah, one. Yeah, that's a toaster. Good. So you know why? Because the women need to be in the kitchen using them fucking toasters. That's, that's why. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're also gonna get into incoherent. Mm. So Psycho, you said you should be able to see this. Sure. So for those Ooh. of you watching at home, this is what the card looks like in case you want to play at home. So if you need to pause, then pause. If not, you know, then, <laughs> you know, but Psycho, I like that this fucking is, second hit. That's your it's that's awesome. your card. Poor bottom. Poor bottom. Poor bottom. Mm -hmm. Poor bottom. Poor bottom. Like a mushroom. Poor bottom. No, no, let, me know, mushroom. let me know when you're ready for a hint. <laughs> you gotta say it loud so the mic picks it up. You need a hint. All right, move your finger real quick. Yeah, let me see it. All right, so the one hint is lower strength. Lower strength. Yeah. Like Lower drunk. strength. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> also, the people listening and watching at home need to hear you. <laughs> Poor bottom. Poor bottom. Do you want the other hint? Yeah. Okay. So the other second one. The second, the, the second hint, hint, we'll hint start, we'll is a gay man who takes charge in bed. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know what it is, just let us know and we can tell you what it is. Uh, yeah. A bottom, a poor bottom. bottom. Oh, you you, you you're, got you're the close. second half of it. You got the you're second close. half of it. Almost time. Oh, fuck. Bottom. Time. All right, Socrates. Yeah, we're going to do all, that's hard as I thought this it was. one. Of course, for for everybody listening at home, you can't see it, but this is for everybody watching at home. That's what it is. The answer, and of course, you say poor bottom. Power bottom, power bottom, a power oh, bottom. Okay. I was gonna say I mean, it's kind of like Jennifer Lopez, right. like a power bottom. The like, second yeah. hint should have, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, hot bottom, yeah. Okay. And of course, we can't do O to humanity without cards against humanity. So, Matt, I'll let you go ahead. I'll let you do this, <clears throat> and we will go ahead and do our cards against humanity. <laughs> this is a funny one. <laughs> All right. So the black card says. Say it loud. I'm blank and I'm proud. <laughs> well, wait, real quick, not to interrupt. I'm not Al Snow and I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, getting married, having a few kids, buying some stuff, retiring to Florida, and dying. That sounds pretty sad <laughs> in, in, in a sense. Anyway, the milkman, a little sewer girl strangling pigeon. <laughs> I'd actually like to see that. Some cracker ass motherfucker. <laughs> so what's your answer? I, I think I'm gonna go with that one. I gotta go to the little girl strangling the pigeon. That's that's just a visual in my yeah, head right now. Yeah, I that that's what I would choose. I think I would choose a little sewer girl strangling a pigeon. Really? So I'm the yeah. only crack ass motherfucker I'm a, here. I, I've known a few girls who probably did that when they were little girls. <laughs> say it loud. I'm 
Crack an ass, motherfucker, and I'm also, proud. I also like the one about dying and retiring in Florida. That's yeah, really yeah, that, that's pretty depressing. That was kind of nihilistic, yeah, yeah. actually. It sounds very. It is a nihilistic game. Yeah, it, yeah. It sounds very Speaking of nihilism. Frederick Nietzsche, who I speak about occasionally on this podcast, if he was still alive, he would write a book about Al Snow. He was a great writer. We we were going to ask Al Snow questions about the mankind jokes, and we we're going to have him tell us awful mankind stories. <laughs> mm. Yeah. If we'd have sure Foley, he'd probably, Foley would probably have the balls to show up. No. Oh. <laughs> you know why? You know why Foley used to make all those Al Snow jokes? Because Al Snow's a fucking joke. Oh. That's why. <laughs> Meanwhile, easy, I guess. we will sit there and have to unfortunately tell you guys Al Snow will not be appearing on a podcast <laughs> due to Socrates <laughs> and him. Verbally slaying Al Snow. Verbally eviscerating is the term I would Verbally prefer to use. <laughs> that was my favorite word whenever JR would say it. Oh, he just eviscerated him. Like, and the, part, the, uh, the power bottom, that would be Al. <laughs> On the top. On the oh, top right man. now. Oh my God. So are you, are you telling me that if you were to <laughs> fuck Al Snow, if you guys were gay men, you would be the power bottom? Well, he already is. The Al Snow. Be, oh, yeah. oh. I would. Oh, yeah, he, now, now, now he's calling Al out on his he, sexuality. He would, he would be the That's power it. bottom. Oh. <laughs> he would be God. Oh, I almost. I he almost, would be God. There was, be there, God. Was this, there was this chick, Carly. I almost, ripped, God. I almost ripped her asshole in half. Like, oh. she told me she literally had to shit in the bathtub for like three days. <laughs> what the fuck? That's what she told me. Okay. Wait, 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 right. wait, wait. Let's wait, reel wait. it back in with that. Wait, one. wait. wait. Oh. Let's <laughs> let, let's let's reel that back in. So she had to shit in a bathtub. I'm not, Meanwhile, you got mad because a random guy shit in your bathtub. No, he shit in my shower. <laughs> what, I, what's the difference? Bro, what's thing? the difference? Bro, it was, it do you have like, a bathtub in your house? I do. Okay, so he shit in your shower, yes. which means that she shit in a bathtub. A bathtub and a shower. So I'm gonna. I, you're a very smart man. You're very. You know. You you you, you quote. You know, I forgot the dude's name already. Frederick but you, Nietzsche. Yeah, yeah, Frederick <laughs> Nietzsche. You quote guys like that. You have a photograph of memory. You're actually very intelligent. Oh, yeah. However, I'm going to drop some knowledge on you, Socrates. <laughs> a shower and a bathtub are one and the same. It's kind of like Al Snow my shower doesn't and have, my Leaf shower, Cassidy. My shower They're one and the way. same. My shower doesn't have a bathtub. Not all, it's just right. a regular stand-up shower. Oh, you have a stand-up shower. So, okay. so, okay. right. But, so, but, okay. but she, I don't mean to correct you. That's right, all but you had to say. Not, but she, here's the thing. She, she shit true. in her own bathtub. <laughs> that, that motherfucker shit in my shower. And it was so kick. Because you could tell he tried to wash it down, but it didn't go down all the way. So it was like under my fingernails. I'm cleaning it out. You know. But no, here's the thing. What I was getting at with that story is this girl, Carly, I'm not, I'm 100% shoot, 100% shoot. This chick Carly calls me. She says, Socrates, we got a, we got an update here. <laughs> I, I just, and I'm going to show this to everybody watching at home if you could see it. That is a tweet from Mike Walters that says, at the real Al Snow, why do you fear Socrates <laughs> on Twitter? On Twitter. So they, now, Socrates is a smart yeah, man. Yeah, he knows yeah. that stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> Socrates, hopefully, and you know, that's the thing. Everybody's going to be like, who the fuck is Socrates? Oh, like, you. who is this motherfucker? He's the king of the dead man. <laughs> you don't know now. He's you know. the man who is now one. And oh, you, you know what? you're starting a streak like the Undertaker. Uh, yeah. You are now one and oh, no, a people who fear Socrates. Now we need to get we need to ask that son of a bitch, Cody Madraw, uh, J Baller, um, Butch Hess, Jamie, all, Jamie see Lucas. if they show up to confront Socrates. <laughs> I don't know if I was the fucking thought you ripped her asshole. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think well, I'd yeah, fear him too. okay. Here's the thing this chick Carly calls me literally the next like two days later. She's like, You motherfucker. I'm like, What? She's like, I had to shit in my bathtub today because you fucked my ass up so much. Uh. And here's the thing. I think I, I think I ripped Al Snow and knew one even more than I did the chick Oh my god. I think I think Al was gonna be shit in the bathtub for a few could, days. <laughs> could you could you imagine that though? Like her calling you and going, You you split my asshole so bad that I, I had to I shit almost, in my own I had to shit in my own bathtub. I, I almost but, felt bad. How, almost. how proud were you? Bro, I, I was popping like a son of a bitch. That was, <laughs> that was one of my proudest moments in 40 years on this earth. I ain't gonna lie. So, so now all those here's the thing, all those the... amazing accomplishments <laughs> that, that, that 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 he named off for Al Snow, which 
you know, made Al Snow pack his bags and hightail it out of here. That he's worked Nikolai Volkov and he's an NWO hardcore champion. You know, all those accomplishments he can add. Split girl's asshole to where she shit in her own bathtub. And hopefully if Al Snow ever hears this, Al Snow would just kind of be like, that was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> you know, still remembers that thing though? Carly. I bet she does. She ain't never going to forget that one. Oh. Oh, uh, you know, she I... probably tells her girlfriend. Could you imagine that? Be like, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, it, like that's the thing. Like if we had her on a podcast, what's the worst thing that's ever happened to you? <laughs> well, there was this guy. His name was Psycho Trees. He looked like Jonathan Davis. And he, he kind of, he had these, <laughs> these tattoos just kind of all over. And he wore he, sunglasses. Yeah, he, he looked like all a the time. Yeah, this is before <laughs> the iron. Oh. He, 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 he looks a little bit like a mix of. Psych of uh Jonathan Davis and Schmeagel kind of mixed together, and he he fucked me in the ass so bad that I had to shit in my own tub for two days. You want to hear the best part though? She let me do it again. Oh, oh no. Lord, well, hey, money, now? money, money talks. I'm money, 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 money. <laughs> I don't even know what to say at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're just. Hey, and then, you, you, know, you, better, you, better, yeah, yeah, you yeah. better believe yeah. every time I saw her after that, she was reminded of it. Just like Tori was reminded every time I saw her afterward that she fell asleep while giving me a blowjob. Wait, wait, what, wait. What? Oh, I've never told that on here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh. Wait, wait. Oh. What, what this, do you what do you do? Oh. What do you do? Had, like the train wrecked before the show <laughs> began with Al Snow because he had to cancel. But yeah. now the train is in flames. Right. And right. there's gasoline on the train. Yeah, this show was dedicated yeah. to, to, to okay. Al Snow this this episode. Uh, but uh, 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 so like, we yeah, still have about another 10 minutes. What so happens? I, I, I want to know. I think we should go extra for this episode. I just want to know <laughs> what do you do when a chick falls asleep sucking your dick? Allow me to explain. So, my yeah, friend, you keep uh, fucking her face off. My friend, really like well, what, my you friend, can't tap friend. her in the head and wake her up because she might be like, ah, friend, and my fucking, friend, you know, my friend, dick. My you friend, don't want that to happen. My <laughs> friend, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> my friend Tori. <laughs> my friend Tori. Who? My friend Tori, who did a little behind the scenes action here one time on this very podcast. She was sucking my dick while Ray, when Ray called me and said, "Hey, I'll be there in ten minutes." <laughs> I think you remember that day. Don't yes, you? yes. Same, I, same went, I went to pick you up, and I was like, "Psycho, I'm outside." And you were like, you need to give me a minute. And I was like, okay. okay. And I'm like, I'm sitting there in my car. I see Psycho come out. I see her come out. I'm like, oh. I'm like, that's not Buddha. <laughs> like that. Uh, no. Wait. And, and, I, and I looked at Psycho kind of like, do you at least clean yourself up a little bit? Like, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I watched Psychrates come in his shorts at a strip club. <laughs> like, I mean, that that's the thing. So I was just kind of like, were you doing the deed or was she giving you a lap dance? Because if you were doing the deed, you at least put your bodily fluids somewhere else. No, it was a lap dance. Yeah, so, so, uh, okay. but can, I, can, I, can I finish the yeah, story, please? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, so yes, yeah. Al Snow is granting you permission <laughs> to to finish the story on his episode. Oh, this is like his episode. The finisher. Yeah. This is my episode. Yes, yes, the finisher yes. that he we, stole. We built, up, we, we built up the whole show and now we're going, we're taking it home. This is this is the take home, you know, and Secretary is taking it home. Go ahead. Well, well no, I'm going to take it home with Al. But before we get to that, you think I'm done with Al? I ain't fucking done with Al. My friend Tori, very nice young lady. She sometimes enjoys the party favors, shall we say? So she's okay. sucking my dick. She's sucking my dick, and I shit you not. I shit you not. I literally heard her like snore a little bit. Uh, I look down, and she's out. She's nodding out. out. Actually, Ray, you remember our friend Axel Rotten? Yes. yes. I, I once called Axel nodding out. In the ring, she was nodding out. So I very politely and gently reached down and tapped her on the top of the head. Oh, see, I was thinking that I wouldn't have done that. Fuck that. And she looked up at me like nothing, and she no sold it and just continued it like nothing ever happened. Well, well, so I had to, I had to mention to her, I had to mention to her, you know, you fell asleep while you were giving sucking my dick, right? That's awesome. But here's the best part: that same, <laughs> that same night, we get done doing our thing. You know, she's all bruised up. We're laying there talking, and she fell asleep in my bed. Okay. And I couldn't wake her up. I'm mm. like, hey. Is uh, she dead? Oh, I'm shit. like, hey, Tori. Like, like, when you said you couldn't shit. wake her up, like, normally that means, wait, so did she die with a cock in her mouth? She died. With because a that's cock the in her thing. Mouth. Like, well, no, like, at this point, at this point, you're going to die with a cock in your mouth, you little spot. 
The cock is now an Al Snow's mouth. Oh. Right? At this point, at this point, oh. at this point, oh. the cock was back in my pants. She's laying there. I could not wake her off. I'm like, Victoria, you uh, you done? Ready to go? You're getting up? She she would not. And I, I I thought, you know, you have those moments in life where you're like, this ain't good. Yeah. I'm like, if I have to call nine one one and tell them there's a dead hooker in my bed, this? how do I explain a dead hooker in my bed? I mean, I've been in some situations. So my buddy Scars calls me. She has my friend Scars. Hey, Socrates, what's up? Because he was drunk. It's like 2 a.m. Yeah. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to just talk to him and I'll come back and wake her up. <laughs> so I'm talking to Scars. I'm like, bro, I'm like, I think this bitch might be dead. Like, she ain't moved. I, I, I like, was it. it like the stripper when you and Star Trek were Yes. At, yes. Were, it was just like that. Yes. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm thinking of something like, should I like dump a glass of water on this bitch? What should I do? <laughs> so I'm talking to Scars. It's literally like 4 a.m. at this point. And I hear, I'm in the other room at this point. I hear, Is your cock still in her mouth during all this? No. no my okay. cock, the cock's because not the That's bed. the thing. It's like, it's like, and me at that point, it's just kind of like, I want this to I, finish. I'm going to let point. you finish your story, but I, I'm trying to figure out if she <laughs> fell asleep with her mouth, inside your dick inside of her mouth, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, how, yeah. like, when you're sleeping with somebody, yeah, you know, yeah, you fall yeah. asleep yeah. and you're spooning them, but you don't want to wake them For up. For those so, of you yeah. listening so you, at so home, me and Matt are spooning. <laughs> so you want to kind of, like, you know, slowly and yeah. then just, like, say they fell asleep on your yeah. arm, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, you want to kind of yeah. slowly, yeah. like, so you don't disturb yeah. them yeah. and wake yeah. up. But, like, how like, do you like, slip yeah. your dick out of mouth? Like, that's okay. a, that, that's the you, thing. You hold them at the bottom of the chin and the forehead, and you're just kind of like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's like, it's like release her, her mouth is there. Your and it's just, is it is it kind of like when you suck too hard on a popsicle? <laughs> and it's just kind of like, Oh, oh, she's just kind of like that. Like you're slowly pulling it it's out. Like, 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 please don't bite. Please don't bite. Like your like, finger I, please stuck no, in like please. a fucking yeah. Chinese finger trap. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's yeah. the thing. It was, it was in there. It was, it was in there. Yo. Deep, yeah, yeah. It was in there deep too. Because this chick fucking deep throats like a oh, like man. a fucking horror church. Oh, so it was like it you're, was you're yes. giving her a tonsillectomy yes, with your penis. Yes. So it That's takes it. time to get that out. But, but fast forward to you know she's in bed sleeping. I'm talking to Scar. It's like 4 a.m. She wakes up. She's like, Secretaries from the other room. I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, thank God she's alive. She's like, why didn't you wake me up? I gotta be somewhere. I'm like, bitch, I tried to wake you up for 45 minutes. I thought you were dead. She's like, I gotta be somewhere. I'm like, that's not my problem. You fell asleep once while you were sucking my dick. Why don't you stop doing heroin all the time, you fucking cunt? This bitch, here, here's what I thought was gonna happen. I thought, all right, how about this? Well, well I, this is speculation, okay? I'm not saying this is a fact. This is speculation on my part. When she was, when she was in the middle of that blowjob, she had more heroin in her than Lane Staley and Kurt Cobain on the day they died. Oh, combined. God. Combined. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Combined. And you know what? Speaking of Kurt Cobain, me and Alice, let me do a little analogy oh, here. No. Oh, let me no. do a little this analogy a thing. Let me do a little yeah, analogy yeah, for all the home. folks out there. Yeah. Right now, Al Snow is Kurt Cobain, and I'm the shotgun. <laughs> not, not to mention, somebody has already tweeted, and this may oh, be the God. bullet. That keeps Al Snow from ever coming on a podcast <laughs> ever again. Al Snow, why do you fear Socrates? And that's the whole thing. So social media, social media now knows. Twitter now knows that that Al Snow fears Socrates. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna find the tweet. I'm gonna I'm gonna find the tweet right now. I would be like Socrates one. I wait, 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 wait. zero. I want to suggest one more yeah. hashtag for all the people out there. Okay. Because we've already got Al Snow fear Socrates. Okay. We're gonna go on his whole theme. Al Snow gives high priest head. Oh, what? Hashtag. Wait, 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 hashtag. Wait, wait, wait. Al Snow wait. gives high priest head. <laughs> all you folks out there. I don't. Right? I don't think that should be something that gets tweeted i do uh, out, out, because that that might not be that might not be a good thing that you want um al snow to pass out while <laughs> you know the, the whole thing hold on wait I, i'm looking for the tweet right now so so i'm i'm on i'm on the the twitter page so tweets and replies so let's see al snow why do you fear Socrates? like so what i'm going to put is Socrates. Dash one, Al Snow zero dash zero. Stay tuned for the rematch. And you know what? I got I got a couple <laughs> more things to say about Al Snow. 
Yeah. Yeah. We've already given one analogy. We talked about how, you know, Al's the Al's Kurt Cobain, I'm the shotgun. Uh, we talked about how Katie Groves uh, died, Jesus you know, and I jerked off to her and she said, right now Al Snow's Katie Groves, I'm the, I'm the bottle of alcohol. Uh, right now, Al Snow uh, is John Nodvin from Dissection, and I'm Dave Mustaine. Right now, Al Snow is Dave Mustaine, and I'm Metallica, because I kicked him out. <laughs> right now, right now, Al Snow is Lou Gehrig, and I'm Lou Gehrig's disease. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my god right now what <laughs> <laughs> jesus h christ in heaven what have we created ladies and gentlemen for those of you watching at home if you're uh, for those of you listening or watching at home if you're still listening or watching we're sorry this has been right such now, a train right wreck now. oh no oh no everybody sees this jersey i'm wearing right now my favorite player of all time however right now nobody sees the jersey now you'll see the fucking jersey you sons of bitches oh you're looking at al snow right now right now (laughs) al snow is kobe bryant and i'm the helicopter oh fuck Oh, you had to say that. Oh my God! <laughs> what? Mike Walters is, I'm not gonna lie. Socrates has me dying. So on social Matt, you missed it. I found Mike Walters' tweet, and oh, yeah. I resp- I replied to it. Socrates one, Al Snow zero. Oh my God! Stay tuned. And you missed. For you the started, I started another hashtag. Hashtag yeah. Al Snow gives high priest head. That's the new <laughs> oh, hashtag. Yeah, yeah. And, and Mike Walters was like, he said Lou Gehrig's disease. It was a crying face. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, uh, we we only have about three minutes left. We we really appreciate you guys tuning in. As I said, I apologize. Al Snow cannot make it. Al, we hope you get better. Hopefully, we get a rescheduled date because we would love to talk to Al Snow. And you know, Socrates. You know, Socrates is Socrates. However, we were going to do it the second quarter of the show. We had a bunch, even even Socrates had a bunch of questions for Al Snow about his career. I'll say one thing. You know, it- <laughs> Al Snow ain't even worth my time, brother. I got I got I got, I got bigger fish to fry now. I'm moving so, on. Next week. What we're going to be is we're going to be back next week. For those of you watching live, of course, we always come a week you live. For those of you watching on Facebook done, Live, right? we will be back with our reschedule for Johnny Goodluck. So Johnny Goodluck, adult film star, our first adult, male adult film star on the show, Johnny Goodluck. And then we will be back the following week with Jen Welter. For those of you who know, Jen Welter hmm. was, the, was the first and only female coach in a national football league so she will be joining us right? yeah mm-hmm. she yes yeah no she was with the ca- card no cardinals, cardinals. Yeah, cardinals. Yeah, she was with the cardinals okay. so she will be joining us on the show and then of course june 5th we will be back june 5th which we will be doing our very first brewery feature we will be coming at you live 100 percent live from hysteria brewing company in Columbia, Maryland. So if you're local, join us at Hysteria Brewing Company. And then the be all end all, the anniversary episode, the happy hour podcast, one episode year, 52. One year anniversary. One year baby. featuring myself, Matt, Psychrates, and Al Snow. maybe Mike Blair. Maybe Jim Yeah, Waller, yeah, maybe yeah, Jim yeah. Waller. And we've already announced the first of the five of our guests who will be joining us live one set and live at Beefalo Bob's, that being former WCW star, Bob Star. Please join us on June 5th. Please join us on June 12th, live at those locations. We have a lot more oh, yeah. live stuff in the works. The Happy Hour podcast, not only is it blowing up in the UK, but we're going to try to blow this shit up locally because a lot of people don't know who we are locally. So thank you to everybody. Make sure you get I'm on about to find five out. merchandise. <laughs> you know, do our Patreon, do whatever it is, and we're gonna leave our final thought for this episode with the one and only, the high priest of hardcore wrestling, Socrates. Let me get his final thought. We'll, we'll turn it towards Socrates. So yeah. Let me get front of this guy there we go. There's Socrates right there. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you're close. Oh, 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 oh no. God. Oh no. Oh, Al God. Snow. Oh God. He's taking his shirt off. His shirt is officially off. Yeah. Al Snow, <laughs> let me tell you something. You know, good fucking jabroni. High priest has fucked thoughts in the ass till they shit in bathtubs. High priest has made thoughts fall asleep while sucking his penis. High priest has won championships. 
High Priest has defeated <laughs> legends. But High Priest, the has legends that done Al Snow has one not thing defeated, by the way. That you could never do, Al Snow. On this episode, Happy Hour Podcast, I took Al Snow. I put him in camel clutch. I broke his back. I fucked his ass. And I made him humble. Al Snow, fuck you, Jabroni. Take a fucking walk. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, once again, I am Ray. This is Matt for Psychrates. We will see you guys next week with our special guest, Johnny Goodluck. Thank you for joining us this week. We will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. I'm not going to let.